بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, This is section 1.2 uh, A catalog of essential functions uh, We will mention here in this section different kinds of functions that we are going to talk about in this course The first model is the linear model a linear function is defined like this y equals f of x uh, equals mx plus b m is the slope and v is the y intercept this is called the slope intercept uh, form now the graph of this linear function is a straight line and uh, it has a very important uh, feature uh, the slope is always constant okay it changes at a constant rate the slope here is a number it's not a variable it doesn't change so for example for this equation linear equation the slope is 3 so uh, it is 3 over 1 so whenever x changes by 1, y changes by 3. Or uh, if you increase x by 0.1, y will be increased by 0.3. So you can check that at 1, uh, y is 1. At 1.1, y is 1.3. So if you increase by 0.1, y will be increased by 0.3. You can graph this line uh, by plotting first the y-intercept, which is negative 2, and then go one unit to the right, three units up, and get another point and uh, connect the two points. The second uh, model, polynomials. Uh, a polynomial is written like this, where n is a non-negative integer. So the powers of x cannot be negative. Uh, they are uh, non-negative integers, 0. Here I have x to the power 0. So the power is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to n. So the powers are from 0 to n. While the coefficients, these numbers, a0, a1, uh, the coefficients are any real numbers, could be any real numbers the domain of any polynomial is from negative infinity to infinity uh, the leading coefficient is a n a n is called the leading coefficient if it is not zero then the degree of the polynomial is n for example this polynomial is a polynomial of degree six the leading coefficient is two Notice that you have x to the power 6, x to the power 4, x to the power cube, and x to the power 0. So there is no x to the power negative 1. There is no x to the power half. Uh, if uh, the polynomial has degree 1, then it is written in this form, which is the linear function. So the linear function is a special case of the polynomial. It's a polynomial of degree 1. A polynomial of degree 2 would would have this shape ax squared plus bx plus c and the graph of this equation is uh, a parabola it opens upwards if a is positive it opens downward if a is negative it's called the quadratic function uh, a polynomial of degree 3 will have this form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d and a the leading coefficient shouldn't be zero otherwise it would be a polynomial of degree two uh, we call it the cubic a cubic function the graph of a cubic function would be like this similar to the letter n if a is positive if a is negative the graph would be like this uh, this is a polynomial of degree four the graph uh, if the leading coefficient is positive, the graph would be like this. Otherwise, it would be like this. This is a polynomial of degree 5. 
you notice that uh, oh, uh, the graph of any polynomial is continuous, okay, no gaps and no sharp corners. The third model is the power function, and the power function is also a special case of polynomials. They are polynomials, and not all of them, okay, we will see. If n is positive integer, then it is a polynomial. Then uh, we have x to the power n, where n is positive integer, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Uh, uh, you will have here the graph of y equals to x power 1. This is a power function. This is a straight line. x square is a parabola. x cube is, has this shape. x to the power 4 is similar to x square, but uh, it is uh, the graph is steeper, okay? Flatter near zero and steeper when x is when absolute value of x is greater than or equal to one. So flatter, like look here. This is flatter than this. Okay, so this is flat flatter. It become uh, it becomes closer to the x-axis in a big interval. So this is flatter than this. Uh, if you graph x to the power 6, it would be more fl flatter and so on. Uh, Steeper when absolute value of x is greater than 1. Absolute value of x greater than 1 means x is greater than or equal to 1, or x is less than or equal to negative 1. So from 1 to infinity, and from negative infinity to negative 1, it's steeper. Means, uh, look here, this goes somehow like this. This is steeper now goes faster to infinity okay it goes faster to infinity look here this is x square now this is x to the power four the red one and the green one the green one more steep steeper which is x to the power six okay so it becomes closer and closer to a vertical line but it will never be a vertical line also here x cube is the green one uh, x to the power 5 would become uh, more uh, steeper, okay? So any x to the power 4, uh, power 6 has the same graph, but flatter and steeper. Uh, x to the power 5 also has the shape similar to x to the power 3 and x to the power 7, but flatter from here and steeper from here. Uh, so these are polynomials because the power of n is not negative while uh, and also it is not a fraction but here when a is 1 over n so these are not polynomials anymore so these are power functions x to the power 1 over n well x to the power 1 over n is can be written as nth root of x so it's a root function okay it's not a polynomial function it's a root function. If x, if n is 2, it's the square root function. If n is 3, it is the cube root function, and so on. This is the graph of the square root function, and this is the graph of the cube root uh, function. You notice that the domain here is from 0 to infinity, while the domain of the cube function is from negative infinity to infinity. So. Uh, uh, this is the graph of x to the power 1 over n. If a is negative 1, this is not a polynomial. It is f of x equals 1 over x. This is the reciprocal function. And this is the graph of y equals 1 over x. If you multiply both sides by x, you can write it in this form. It's a hyperbola, the graph of the reciprocal function is a hyperbola and uh, we have a vertical asymptote the line x equals to zero the y-axis is a vertical asymptote and the line y equals to zero the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote so this is the first function in which we have asymptote in the previous functions there were no asymptotes if a is negative two then we have y equals 
x to the power negative 2 or 1 over x square and the difference between 1 over x square and 1 over x that x, y here is positive because it's x square here y is could be positive or negative so this part will will be reflected up here so this is the graph of y equals 1 over x square the domain is the set of all real numbers except the zero because the denominator is not defined at zero and we have a vertical asymptote when x equals zero and the range of this function is from zero up into infinity because at y equals to zero there is a horizontal asymptote so the graph never touches the x-axis also it doesn't touch the y-axis another model rational functions a rational function is just a polynomial over polynomial okay polynomial over polynomial if you have polynomial over polynomial it is called rational function this is a polynomial of degree 4 and this is a polynomial of degree 2 the domain of this function would be all real numbers except the zeros of the denominator so x cannot be here cannot be equal to 2 or negative 2 because these are the zeros of the denominator actually when x equals 2 we have a vertical asymptote and when x equals negative 2 we have another vertical asymptote and this is the graph of this function the next model algebraic functions well if the function is not any of the previous functions and if it is constructed using algebraic operators like addition subtraction multiplication division taking roots raising two powers then it is called algebraic function so these are some examples here this is algebraic it's not polynomial because we have a square root this is algebraic it is not rational because we have square root of x this is not a polynomial so also cube root this is not a polynomial so these are two examples of algebraic functions trigonometric functions we have six trigonometric functions y equals sine x cosine x tan x and the reciprocal of sine is cosecant the reciprocal of cosine is secant and the reciprocal of tan is cotan x uh, we usually use the, rad the, ra the radian measure when we deal with trigonometric functions okay so when we write sine x we mean that uh, x uh, is in radian okay the radian measure of x this is the graph of sine it passes by the point zero zero because sine zero is zero this is the graph of cosine it doesn't pass by zero zero cosine zero is not zero cosine zero is one uh, these are the graphs you notice that the highest point uh, the highest y value is one and the lowest is negative one so the domain or real numbers but the range is from negative one to one so the sine x which is y is always between negative one and one and this is an important feature and also cosine x is always between negative one and one so cosine x equals 2 for example has no solution has no solution this equation has no solution always the cosine has to be between negative 1 and 1 and the sine 2 or we can write this as this absolute value of sine x is, bit, is less than 1 or also here we can write it absolute value of cosine x is less than 1 remember if absolute value of x is less than d then this means that x is between negative d and d so if sine x is between negative 1 and 1 we can write it like this absolute value of sine x less than or equal to 1 also an important property of sine and cosine uh, that they are periodic functions and all the trigonometric functions are periodic functions but the period changes uh, from one to another uh, the period of sine and cosine is 2 pi and that's why when you add 2 pi here 
uh, it doesn't change anything. So sine x plus 2 pi is equal to sine x, exactly. So sine, for example, sine 0 is sine 0 is equal to sine 2 pi is equal to sine 4 pi and so on. Also, the cosine is periodic function with period equals to 2. Tan x is the uh, quotient of sine x and cosine x. So it is sine x over cosine x. And this is the graph of tan x. The domain of tan x, all real numbers except the zeros of cosine. Cosine equals 0. You can look here to the graph of cosine. Cosine is 0 when x is pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 and so on. So it's pi over 2 plus pi if you add pi. So pi over 2 plus or minus uh, a multiple of pi. So plus or minus pi over 2 plus or minus 3 pi over 2 plus or minus 5 pi over 2 and so on. All of these are zeros of cosine. So the domain would be the domain of 10 or real numbers except these points. And we will have vertical asymptotes here. So x equals pi over 2 is a vertical asymptote. x equals 3 pi over 2 is another vertical asymptote. We have infinitely many vertical asymptotes for the graph of tan x. It is a periodic function, but the period of tan is pi. It is not 2 pi like sine and cosine. The range is all real numbers, the range of the tangent function. After that, another model, the exponential functions. Exponential functions, we have b to the power x. y equals b to the power x. b is a positive constant. Okay, It cannot be negative, and it is not 1. So 2 to the power x, 3 to the power x are examples. 0.5 to the power x, examples of exponential functions. Notice the difference between exponential functions and power functions x to the power b is a power function but b to the power x is an exponential function this is the graph of the exponential function if the base b is greater than one and this is the graph if the base b is less than one and of course it has to be greater than zero the domain set of all real numbers as you can see from the graph and the range is from 0 to infinity and the line y equals to 0 is a horizontal asymptote for the exponential function the logarithmic function has this form log x to the base b the base b is also positive constant different than 1 uh, x here uh, must be positive x inside log is greater than zero it cannot be zero and it cannot be negative so the domain of the logarithmic function is from zero to infinity which is the range of the exponential function because the logarithmic function is the inverse of the exponential function so the domain of the logarithmic is the range of the exponential and the range of the exponential is the domain of the logarithmic uh, the the, dom the range of the logarithmic is the domain of the exponential which is from negative infinity to infinity and here are some uh, uh, graphs of logarithmic functions when the base is greater than one if the base is greater than one they will be uh, increasing functions here notice here power uh, two the green then this is power uh, three power 5, power 10, not power, sorry, base, base 2, 3, 5, 10. So it becomes closer and closer to the x-axis. And from here, it goes closer to the y-axis when you increase the base. Uh, if b is less than 1 and greater than 0, the graph of the logarithmic function would be like this. Notice that the line x equals to 0 is a vertical asymptote to the logarithmic functions. Domain from 0 to infinity range from negative infinity 
to infinity. Here, an example, classify the following functions as one of the types of functions that we have discussed. 5 to the power x, what is this? This is exponential function. x to the power 5, this is polynomial function, or you can say power function. So it's power and polynomial in this case. This one, uh, it cannot be... Uh, uh, fraction it cannot be rational function sorry because this is not a polynomial so this is algebraic algebraic function uh, this one uh, is a polynomial of degree 4 power 1 power 4 power 0 so this is just uh, a polynomial and the, the here you have a table uh, of the essential functions this is the linear function uh, if the slope is zero we have a horizontal line and these are the power functions the root functions notice that uh, fourth root is similar to square root but it's uh, here and more okay, becomes closer to the y axis okay now and the fifth root is similar to the third root but it becomes closer to the y axis. Uh, this is one over x, this is one over x squared. One over x cubed is similar to one over x, but it becomes closer to the x axis. Uh, and one over x four also uh, similar to one over x squared. This is the logarithmic when b is greater than one. And here are the exponential functions. This is the graph of sine, cosine, and tan. And this is the end of our uh, lecture. Study well and have a nice time.